but there is just so much to talk about. Oh, and also credibility, credibility, uh, pepper beef too spicy. I was, I watched this when I first started playing Lay, like Drunken Master. Like how do you play Drunken Master, Drunken Fist and all that stuff. So credits to Pepper Beef Too Spicy, just FYI, I just want to get that out there. Very talented late player, very, very strong player overall in the US. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, uh, let's get right into this. I'll explain to the best of my abilities. So Drunken Master. All right, so this is Drunken Master. Drunken Master has many ways to go into. There's a lot of ways you can go into Drunken Master, but a lot of those ways are not safe, but they're gimmicks, so to speak. So the best way and safest way is four, three plus four. And only reason because it's the fastest and safest and it doesn't take too long. So yeah, this is one way to go into Drunken Master. Uh, another way is down 4-4, four, four, hold 4. Yeah. So he does like that pre-long window animation. And he turns around. And during that animation, you are vulnerable. You can't block, you can't do anything. And you will be punished. Uh, just for reference, if I can do this. I'm trying to make this short as possible. Alright. Okay, cool. Alright. Do it, please. Oh. It's not lying to me again. Yeah, it's a punish right there. Your launch punishable. Like, some characters can launch him. But I'm pretty sure you can get, like, a down forward, too. But yeah, anytime Lay does this, if you block the mid, because the mid, the second hit of down 4-4, is minus 15. It's launch punishable. A lot of people do not know about that. It is minus 15, as right there, as stated. Alright? So just FYI. But if he goes forward, you're, he is launch punishable. Punish his ass on that. It's more of a gimmick. Like, if you don't know about it, I get a free... I get to go into Drunken Fist pretty easily. And that's pretty much it. Uh, another way is, if I remember correctly, is... Yeah, sidestep 2-2, uh, two, two, and you hold forward, and you go into Drunken Fist. Same thing, you're plus two if you go in a Drunken Fist. So again, if it's on hit, then yes, you're good. But if it's on block, you're still plus two. But and the thing about uh, sidestep 2-2, two, two, this is a string for Drunken Fist. Uh, it's a very powerful string, very good. Gets you plus frames, but the second hit, it doesn't gel you. The second hit is duckable, so you can duck it and launch it. Just remember that, okay? Uh, another way from back turn is 1-1. One, one. Oh shit, hold on, if I remember correctly. Uh. Yeah, you're minus 77. But yeah, some back turn, 1-1-3-2. One, one, Hold 4, you're minus 77. You are very vulnerable and you can get launch punish, punish his ass if Light ever does that shit. And also, this string is total ass. And the reason why I say that is because there's a lot of negative frames, you're launch punishable, and the third hit is low parry -able. So anytime anyone sees this, they will low parry your ass. They will always low parry your ass. This is a gimmick string. But yes, anyway. Uh, we're not going to get into that. That's just another way to go in a Drunken Fist. Another way to go in a Drunken Fist is 2-1, hold forward. You're minus 11. This is like the other fast way to go into Drunken Fist. But if it's on hit... You're at neutral, so you get it. You get that for free, so it's pretty nice, it's pretty good. So that's another way to go into Drunken Fist. Uh, am I missing anything? I feel like I'm not. Now that, do, do, do that. Oh yeah, and Phoenix Dance. Phoenix Dance. Phoenix Dance goes into Drunken Dance. If you press forward, Phoenix Dance hold forward, go into Drunken Dance. I think that's all of them. I hope I'm not missing anything like my last video for uh, Tiger and Dragon because I missed a couple uh, how you can go into Tiger and Dragon. But yeah, those are there's some ways you can go into. So yeah, Phoenix, hold forward. But I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I may be wrong. Yeah, okay. Anyway, continuing on. So Drunken Master. Drunken Master is very unique again. This is its movement. It's not regular speed. So to speak, it's not like this. It's not like very uh, linear, so to speak. Not straightforward. Drunken Master kind of has his run animation. It does that. He does that. Lay does this. But the thing about this... So if you go pull forward, but you can cancel the front. Like, if you can cancel the walk. 
And he does this step forward with his left leg and he turns around. So you can cancel it. Movement's weird, but you can really play with people. So I'm just trying to cancel it right there. My opponent is like, oh man, you're trying to play with me. You're gimmicking me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, look at that launcher. Dude, Oki set up, tiger stance, yay. So Drunken Master, again, I, in my opinion, is probably really gimmicky, it's really, really gimmicky. And then again, I always talk about how Lei is an illusionary character, but this stance, if you master this stance, you will become a, such a good Lei player. Because this stance is not bad nor good, if that makes sense. So there's always that. But other than that, yes, remember the movement to see how fast you are and all that such. Just be careful, you can cancel it. But other than that, get used to the movements. Very nice. Oh, and all the ways of going in movement, uh, drunken stance is all his play dead and side wins. So this, this position, this stance, these two stances right here, both of these stances, press uh, one plus two and you can go into drunken. So here's that, here's that, here's that, uh, oh, one. and there's that. I'm pretty sure I missed one, but yeah. Anytime he's laying down, if he's like playing dead, press one plus two and he goes back into the trunk in. Every time, all day, every day. So there's that. All right, let's talk about his moves. All right, Drunken Tiger Lash. This is actually a really good move for like, uh, for instance, uh, there's two different properties on counter hit, if I remember correctly. So here's this. He hits him away, it's a mid, has a lot of pushback, even on block. On uh, counter hit. See how the opponent is rolling forward so every i i talked about this in my snake video or like a previous video a long time ago that anytime that lay sends them or hits anyone in counter hit on specific streams or moves you get a free drink so i don't want to get into depth for that but yeah that is an automatically free drink right there so remember that but yeah on counter hit it changes the properties of like the knockback uh, on hit it is minus 11 it is punishable, even though it does say minus 11, but similar to Demo Man on the last hit with the blue stuff, if I remember correctly, uh, it's not punishable. There's no move, to my knowledge, that can punish Lei at this distance at minus 11. Unless it was minus 12, then I think uh, Kunimitsu's... Kunai can punish it? I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, there is no move that I know of that can punish Lei on a minus 11 with that knockback. Unless there's somehow I'm missing one. But other than that, if there is something, comment down below. But yeah, uh, that is this is a safe move. Not well, that that's also safe. But yeah, this is a safe move, Drunken Master 1. Very safe, it's not very safe, but it's safe. Very nice. And also, it well, all splats, which is nice. So there's that. So if you want to play with your opponent and wall splat him, yeah. So I would also say Drunken Master pretty good at the wall because he has a lot of tools in his strings and moves that he can keep an opponent at the wall and try to you know keep the pressure going on but yeah drunken one is a good move use it and try to understand his properties and make use of it in your playstyle so continuing on uh rapid drunken fist is side step two two is this string that is that so in drunken two two it's pretty good. Again, the second is duckable. The first hit is minus nine, but on counter hit, uh, you can get a combo after it. If I can get it. Oh yeah, you can also go in a drunken fist on the first hit too. Forgot about that. Yeah. He has a lot of ways of going in drunken fist. I think the game is trying to tell me something. Uh, yeah, so you can get a combo after that. But if um, regular hit, that's the he just does like a nosebleed type of stun. I think I may be wrong, but on counter hit, it does that, knocks him away. So there's that, and plus, uh, it gives you plus strength on block and on hit. Really good. So say like you got, you did the two hits, just hold four and you'll go back into drunken, but you you take away two plus uh, three plus frames and you're plus two again. So on regular hit, on hit, you're plus five. Go back in a drunken, you're plus two. But look how much distance. It's a, it's a good distance. There's a lot of good distance. So you can keep the pressure pressure up and just keep like playing playing with your opponent. Again, drunken fist 
is very gimmicky. Just make use of it and just remember that. But yeah, this is a good stream for Lay. I would recommend using this, but again, the, sec the second hit is duckable, just be careful. Doesn't gel. But might as well show you guys while I'm here. Do do do. Well, oh, you can punish him, but yeah. But yeah, it's stockable. Doesn't gel. Unless on counter hit. But. So, yeah, but it's a good string overall. If your opponent knows about this train, just be careful when you're using it. Alright, Drunken Fox combination. I will have to make another video only because we're going to have to talk about backwards Drunken Fist. Backwards Drunken Fist is very different. Same movement and everything, but a lot of people get very pissy and like, oh, this man's gonna probably play with me and all that such. That's a whole different thing, but we're just gonna talk about forward Drunken Fist Master. Uh, yeah, Drunken Master. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, Drunken Fox combination, Drunk Stance, uh, 3, 2, 4, and also you can go into Crane Stance, same thing, it's just the Ender uh, move is this back up, up back 4. It's just that one. And you can go into Phoenix or Crane. This is a very sneaky, it's very, no one reckon, remembers that, like, Junkin' Sans has a low, it's just this low, your plus one on hit, it's really nice, it's good, it's 17 frames, believe it or not, it's pretty good, and then it has that, but a thing with, if you do the first two hits, you get a combo, but yeah, you can get a combo after that, on the first two hits. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a good low. It's not the fastest low, but it's it's a sneaky low. It's pretty good low, in my opinion. And also on counter hit, if it's on counter hit, all the all the hits are true. It will be a true string. It's without counter hit, minus 21, blah, blah, blah. It's not a true string, not on counter hit. But if it was on counter hit, oh shit, oh shit. No, thank you. That is all true. This is a true string. See what I mean? And also, if you want to stay in Drunken Fist, you just hold forward. You're minus eight, believe it or not. But if you don't want to go back into Drunken Fist, you hold. You don't hold forward. But if you do want to go back into Drunken Fist, uh, hold forward. It's the same. The same thing with holding forward on the first hit and the second hit. But it would be better if you just do the second hit. Because you're minus 8. So, there's that. But yeah, this is a good string. A lot of people don't remember this string, honestly. They don't remember this low. It's a 20, 20 point damage? Really? I thought it was like 18 or some shit. Oh, I'm looking at a different damage. It's 10 hit. 10 points of damage. But yeah, it's a sneaky low. I do recommend it. Just be careful because this is the only low. <laughs> it's the only low for Lady that he has in this... Uh, in him this stance very good just be careful when using it uh oh yeah on guard on block it's minus 22 if you go into drunken fist if you don't go into drunken fist you're minus 12. uh minus one if you don't go into drunken fist minus eight if you do go into drunken fist so just remember what you're dealing with again Lays a double-edged sword. He, when he's transitioning to his stances, he loses frames. So he's either going to be minus 13, 14, or 12, or he'll transfer into being launch punishable. So just be careful. Just be careful. That's all I'm going to say about this. Uh, okay, I think this is a new string. I briefly played Tag 2 when I was in high school. Briefly. And I was watching a couple of Tag 2 tournaments, like when I got into Maximilian Dude and uh, Yipes. And I started venturing now into Tekken because I was interested in Tekken. But anyway, I think this is pretty new. Anyway, this is called Drunken Fox Rotation, which is Drunken Master 3, 1 plus 2. It's a low high. Get it? Low high. Same thing. Minus 12. If you want to go, if you want to go back into Drunken on the first hit, same thing. Just hold forward. Or you're minus 22. You're launch punishable. The high is minus 9. It is duckable, I believe. Uh, it knocks away 
So there's that. Shit. Stop it. Bad. It's not a true strength. I think go on counter hits a true strength. Yeah, on counter hits a true strength. Uh, cool thing about this. Oh, that's not what I want. Yeah, so the second hit on counter hit screws. Screws your opponent. So that means you can combo. So there's that. Now if I weren't to do that... Oh shit. Ooh. This doesn't have much range that I thought it would do. Yeah, it does not screw on the second hit. So, but on counter hit, it does screw. And it's safe on block, but it's duckable. So I'll just show you, because I know some of you guys are visual learners. Oh, shit. That's not it. This is awkward. Okay. There you go. Cool. Coolio. Yeah, so... Taylor got hit. Punish. Right there. See? Punish. Even if you do block the ball, you can still punish it. But you can't. Point being, you can... Still punish him. Regardless. So... There's that. So it is duckable. Just be careful. A combo that you can do with this string. Uh, it's one of the first practice combos that the game gives you. Oh yeah, that's another way you can go into Drunk Fist. So yeah, from Wraith Kick, down back, forward. There's a lot of ways to go into Drunk Fist. Just forget, forgive me. Just just forgive me on this. There's a lot to talk about this character. Anyway, uh, Wraith Kick, pull forward, the first hit. And, go, and then he goes into Drunk Fist. Anyway, so this is a combo. Okay, set up. 45 damage. So, there is that. So, I'll do it one more time. There you go. See? So, there is a combo for this if you plan to do Rave Kick instead of doing the whole string. Anyway. But yeah. So, this is not as good. I do not recommend it against, like, top level players or against people who really know the matchup against Lei. But use it against people who do not know how to defend against it. So it's like that old saying, if a button keeps working or a string keeps working, they don't know how to deal with it and they keep calling you you're cheating or they're like you're just using overpowered characters, blah, 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 keep using it. Like it, 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 the tools are there. You might as well use it. Why not? Anyway, so I do not recommend this string. Just be careful if you do plan to use it. Drunken Tiger Kick. All right, so to my knowledge, this is a launcher. It's a mid launcher. It's really weird on range. I, it's either at 2.5, 2.3. It, it's really weird. Uh, the hitbox on it is very awkward. I can't really explain it. I do not know much about it, but I know because I use it in matches and it's like, wait, I hit that? That doesn't make sense. But it has weird range and it has a weird hitbox. But yeah, so say like you want to go. Just hold forward, press forward, hold forward, and you go back into Drunken. So, but it is a launcher, and the only way you can combo from that launcher... Uh, doo -doo -doo, jab, and then Oki Setup. So there's that. So it will be launcher, jab, down forward, forward to go into Tiger Stance for Oki Setup. So I'll show you one more time. Launcher, do it, do it, Setup, blah, blah, blah. And, there, and look at what my opponent is. Look at what the opponent lady is doing. Look how he's standing. Like he's facing the other way. His face is on the other way. And he's taking he has to turn around. So that's a force mix-up that I'm giving my opponent. It's like it's an Oki setup pretty much. So this is really great. If you can get it. But yeah, I don't like getting blocked. Man. That's a burst. Man. But yeah, it's it's really good in its own way, because it will get you a special mix up. Again, you can use this with any launcher and all that such, but yeah. It's minus 12, you are punishable, but again, it's it's weird on range. So say, so say like I was in close up distance or say like I was far away, you gain more distance, but if, it's really confusing. Sometimes you're either closer or, or farther away, and then sometimes they can't punish you even though you're minus 12. But it is a good move in my opinion, just be careful. That, that's all I'm pretty much gonna say, but I'm pretty sure it's size sizable haven't tested this out yet. This is awkward. Nah. But yeah, it, it, this is his only launcher for 
drunk instance. Okay, let's continue on. Tiger Zip. This is the Lei and Eliza and uh, Yoshimitsu. And I think that's it. Are the only characters in this game that can recover health. But yeah. So Tiger Zip. It's literally the drink. Lei presses 1 plus 2. And he recovers some health. And he high crushes. I wouldn't recommend doing all three. That is very risky and you'll get your ass launched. But he goes into play dead. It's pretty good. So in my matches that I do a lot, I'll do... I'll do that. But like, I'll, I'll do the full combo. Or I'll get a drink like that. So I do that a lot just to get like a quick health. Like, I'll sacrifice some damage for, like, some health. Because Lei is, like, one of the only characters who can actually do this. So, I abuse that in Lei's kit. But yeah, it's pretty good. It crushes highs. Just be careful. Do not do it in front unless you are a crazy madman. I have done that once by accident, but it works to an extent. But yeah, Tiger Zip, it's pretty good. Just use it at very safe distances. Or at the end of combos when you use 4-4... Uh, four, four, Three, four. So that, pretty much. Anyway, continuing on. Staggering slide. This is low parryable. It is, you're sort of safe. You can't relaunch late when he does that. So just to show you guys, because I know you guys are visual learners. So do do do. Thank you. There's another low kick that Lei has. I'm not gonna get into it, but it's not low parryable and it's very safe, but it's side steppable. Anyway, continuing on. So yeah, it's well variable. Life is great. All right. Uh, so say like I didn't know about that. He is brought up very awkwardly. That's like really weird punishes you can get him. But this is a good move. But just remember, the only weakness is yeah, it's low variable. The side step is very weird because it kind of tracks you in both ways. But on his left side, his right side, he. I mean, you sidestep his left, you can sidestep him. But if you don't do it too early, you're going to get hit. But it's really weird tracking. But you, you can punish him with the rising four, I think. I think. All right, do it again, just to be sure. Yeah. Oh, no, you can't. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, guys. I, I'm, I'm dumb. Yeah, there's a lot of gimmicks to this damn stance. But yeah, uh, if, you have, if you know a character that has and is able to punish him when he does that, then you're able to punish him. But yeah, he's... This is a sneaky low. Just still works. It's like Mule Kick, but I would say, in my opinion, it's better. Because he gets... His uh, hurt boxes are all the way down, and you can't really hit him out of it. But yeah, it's a good, it's a good move. I recommend it. It's very gimmicky. Because not many people are going to expect it. They're probably going to expect, like, Launcher, or Throw, blah, blah, blah. But they won't expect the low. Does a decent amount of damage. 23. It's pretty good. All right, out of control. So this is a two-part throw. You, it has two versions. So that was the regular version where I throw it away, do 32 damage. But if I press uh, one plus two, I sacrifice damage and drink, and I gain some health. Okay, so I'll do it one more time. It's a two-part throw. It does goes for two times, and I drink. In order to break this, just to show you guys. Oh, not that. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's one plus two. So that's how you break it. One plus two. Okay. All right. It's a good throw. It's two parts. See how he does his arms? Two parts. It has good tracking, surprisingly. It's weird. It's really weird. But both sides. But you can break it by one plus two. So, it's a good throw. It's not as fast. Yeah, it's not as fast. It's a 15 frame. But anyway, continuing on. It's a good throw. He has that. Spinning head, but there's so much I need to talk about about this damn stance. I feel like I'm running out of time. Anyway, continuing on. So, drunken stance. It's a high crush. It's a mid. It's a better headbutt compared to, like, standing one uh, back one plus two. There's a spinning headbutt. You can get a combo after this from Phoenix. And then there's that. He is safe. On, on block, only because he is laying down. It says minus 18, but the only way you're going to punish him is by a low kick or some shit like that. 
But other than that, it's a really good. It's really good. <clears throat> and the only reason why I say that, the only reason why I say that, uh, where is it? Uh, there, were, there was a specific. Oh yeah, yeah. There's so there's a little gimmick thing, a little setup. Credit to Pepper View Too Spicy, uh, launcher. Oh shit. Do do do. All four, and then spinning. So that's a gimmick, because if I do launcher and then I do head spin, you're going to get counter hit, because I'm pretty sure a lot of opponents will press a button and try to punish you. So that's a little setup right there. But anyway, continuing on. Yeah, use this move a lot. It's really good. That's not even on counter hit I, too. So that's pretty much for free. So it's a good move. Recommend it. Use it. Drunken stupor. Stupor. <laughs> stupor. Anyway, uh, Drunken. He does this shit. He drinks that. He, it's that taunt from Drunken Master, I believe. One, uh, where he's doing one of the one of the Drunken Master gods, if I remember correctly. He does this, he's drinking like that cake of wine or alcohol. And he gains some health and he goes to play dead. It's a very slow, don't do it in front of an opponent, it's very risky. But do it like back here, if you want to. And just to play with him. The reason why I say this is because he has an additional to this. He has this. And then jab. So you can really play with your opponent like that. So there, there is an option right there. So it's pretty good if you want to uh, play with your opponent, gimmick them out of Drunken and all that stuff. So there's that. Drunken Fall. There's a counter hit towards this. So it's a mid. I catch a lot of people with this. It's minus six on hits. On block, you are safe, I believe. You're minus nine. Yeah, it's a safe. But you're in the air, so do be careful because they can hit you out. Not the taunt. Oh yeah, sometimes going to Drunken Fist. I forgot about that. So there's setup right here. So on counter hit, you knock them down all the way to your level. And there's a setup, you can go for a slide. So I'm pretty sure there's a gimmick, to, there's a setup with that. Or from plated, from setups, you can go into kicks, bicycle kicks. So there's that. This is a good move, I would recommend it. Get used to it, love it. But just remember, if you're facing grapple characters, do not try, try not to use play dead unless you are certain you can play, play against them. And that is pretty much it. Again, there is so much to talk about Drunken Master. There's just a lot of things, setups that you can do with Drunken Master, but this is pretty part one. Uh, this is my part one version of Drunken Master. I will try to make a part two explaining like setups and such and everything that you can do with Drunken Master and gimmicks that you can use with Drunken Master. But other than that, this I hope this is somewhat of an introduction towards anyone wanting to learn how to play Lay. Again, credit to Pepper Beef Too Spicy. Uh, I had to do a review, some research, and if you guys want to go check out another late player, Pepper Beef Too Spicy is a great example. He has a Drunken Master video. I will highly recommend if you're wanting to learn how to play Drunken Master on with Lay. But anyway, yeah, so this is my video. I hope this guy's help, this helps you guys, and I hope you wanting to play Tekken more, or play Lay, if you guys are interested. But other than that, thank you guys for tuning in. I thank you guys for watching. If you guys like my videos, like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out and all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell and all that great jazz and stuff. But other than that, hopefully I can get Razor Rush soon. But I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any more questions about Drunken Fist or any stances, just comment down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. I am really hungry and I want to play Valorant League of Legends. When's Tekken 8? Will Roger Jr. come back? I don't know. But thank you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Welcome to Panda out.